certainly ask everybody to to take a step back and let the investigators do their job. Um, I heard, you know, within the next 30, 30 days or so, uh, they might have some information or be able to put some information out to people so they can understand what's going on. But I do ask that people take a step back and let the investigators work on the case and whatever happens, happens at that point. The police need to listen too, um, quite frankly. Um, you know, it, it's a two-way street and I think the officers need to be able to work with citizens that they protect and try to come up with some solutions to make it work. Um, if nobody's gonna sit down and talk, I don't think anything is gonna get worked out. Uh, protesting, peaceful protesting is working. The non-peaceful one isn't, but um, I think we need to come to the table and talk and, and try to figure this thing out. Um, I think the citizens are very frustrated uh, with how things are being handled. Um, and I, I completely get that. Um, but on the other hand, I hear from the officers too that, um, you know, the non-peaceful protesting isn't always working. You know, people who are own those businesses that are being uh, burnt are suffering. Um, you know, with the coronavirus going on, they're already probably short on business and then to have their business burnt is a double whammy to them. And I, I think the biggest, like I said, the biggest thing is, you know, the citizens are hurting and us as law enforcement completely understand that. Um, and, you know, there are probably 99% of the officers out there trying to do the, what's right for the citizens. Um, but it's kind of hard to do those things when, you know, the officers are either are fighting those who are not peacefully protesting.